If you want Joe for 10bugbreaks.com, another three envelopes of Vault Original. This is fun. This is random letter break number 11. And big thanks to, empty, big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Thanks very much. There are your first name letters right there. Keep that in mind, first name letters. Let's roll the dice and randomize each lift. Each lift? Each list. See, I'm tired. This has been a long week. Six and a three, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, Mark down to Mark. After nine times, six and a three, nine times for the letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. IT down to D. All right, so Mark Glassman has Isaiah Thomas, IT. Richard, you have the V. Mark with BP, like the oil, I guess. Ryan, you got Mo. Richard with the C. Rick with the E and H. Richard with the L and N. Mark with the A. Ryan with the F. Ryan with the last spot mojo, J. Tice with R, and Mark with the D. It's a family show, folks, easy. Oh, I thought Mark almost had A, B, C, D. Oh, you want just the E? Like that, you mean, Richard? So you just want H. Is that what you're saying? Where should I add the E, then? Should I add to the C? Or the L and N? You choose, Rick, because you're giving away the letter. You choose. You want me to add to the C, or would you rather add, have me add it to the L and N or the V? I've never seen this kind of deal before. This is this is crazy talk. Oh, and Richard says he'll send the he he'll send the L or N to you if you want it. So look at this. There you go. You're seeing this live on camera right now. E and V there. Do you do you want an L or N? And what is this, Wheel of Fortune? L! <laughs> and then, L! L for 200. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll just go, we'll see which. No, Rick's just gonna stand, all right. All right, L or N, denied. Denied, all right, well, let's let's see if Rick will regret that. Or not, as the case may be, who knows? Could go either way. All right, trade window closed, folks. Or the giving away letter window closed. Thank you, Rick, that's really nice of you too, by the way. All right. Good luck, everybody. Did you like the guessing game? I'm gonna do it anyway. All right. This is 43 out of 99. I'll do it a little bit faster. He's a shortstop. So think about shortstops on that on that checklist. Should I drop that here? Here's the link if you wanna look at the checklist again. He's 5'9", 180, born in 1967. Caracas, Venezuela is where he was born. Bats both, throws right, and signed with this team as a free agent. Wow, I, I actually didn't realize that. Uh, he was signed with the, this is not the team that, that it's pictured, I think, but uh, he was signed as a free agent by the Mariners in 1984. Huh. 
And he was, he was acquired by this team, by the Mariners, in, the, in 1993. Uh, this guy's airborne aerobatics, oh, ac aerobatics? Acrobatics, I'm tired, uh, anchored this infield for a dozen years, especially when he was paired with Roberto Alomar, you'll get this now, between 1999 and 2001, to form one of the greatest uh, double play combos. With this guy providing magical defense, a solid bat, and steady leadership, this team reached the World Series in 1995 and 1997. Thwarted both times. Any guesses? Not, uh, Ozzy Smith? No. Not Guillen. Not Ozzy Guillen. Not Alvarez. It is Omar Vizquel. Omar Vizquel. I didn't realize that, that he was originally with the... Uh, that he was traded from the Mariners organization. 43 out of 99. There you go. I don't know why I blocked out Omar Vizquel Mariners from my from my memories. Uh, probably because I was super young. Um, Ryan Redmond with the letter O for Omar Vizquel. Next one. Wait, who is? Oh, the stick. The sticker was covering the name. Uh, this is thirty-two out of ninety-nine. Uh, this is not the team I usually associate him with. He's six-one, two hundred pounds, born in nineteen sixty-three in Kansas City, Missouri. Throws right. He's a righty. He's a pitcher too. Bats left. He was uh, drafted by the Royals in 1981, third overall. And then was acquired by this team via free agent in the early 2000s. But the, the team that he's pictured on right here is not the team I associated with him. Uh, in fact, the copy says so. This guy looks a bit unfamiliar in, uh, I guess I'll say it, Red Sox garb. But it was in Boston that he played his penultimate season of 2001. The former Mets, Royals, Yankees ace was far from finished, though. In one stretch, the Red Sox won 12 consecutive games that he started a significant tribute to Coney, considering that the team just finished three games above 500. I gave it away right there. I just read what's on there. I'm like, I'm Ron Burgundy? Uh, pitcher, Jeremy Anderson. Sorry, it's pitcher. Not the big unit. I kind of gave it away. I was just reading, and then I just read that part. And this uh, this autograph is 32 out of 99. No other guesses? Not Clemens. I kind of said it, but I said I must have said it quickly. I don't think I gave it away. I said Coney, Coney. David Cone in his Red Sox gear. There you go. I, I actually, I don't ever really think of him as a Royal or a Met. Maybe, maybe some Mets. I guess. No, I, you know what? I definitely think of him as a Met. I don't remember him as a Royal, I guess, is what I'm saying. I was going to say, I remember him as a New York guy. So, like, Mets and Yankees kind of make sense for me. Royals. Roy, Roy, Royals I don't get. Letter D. The D. Who has the D? Mark Glassman. That's Boombox with the D. And the last one, folks. Good luck. This is our last break of the night. Last one is... Uh, 77 out of 99. This is one of the nicest guys in baseball, folks. Uh, he's 6'5", 215 pounds. He's a big, tall dude. Born in 56 in Portland, Oregon. He's a right-hander. Bats right, throws right. 
and everyone probably remain, remembers him from this team that he was the team that he was drafted by is is his main team. Uh, it may have been coincidental, but this guy wore the same number for this team as did Babe Ruth. This guy became almost as impossible not to like as he was to keep in the ballpark. He thrilled fans of this city for 15 seasons, peaking from 1982 through 85 when he followed back-to-back NL MVP awards. Did he really? Back-to-back NL MVP awards with back-to-back home run crowns. I actually did not realize he was a back-to-back MVP winner. So think back to your your checklist. Not Schmidt. That's a good guess. Rick's got it. It is the Murph. Dale Murphy, 77 out of 99. <laughs> it's all right, Jeremy. This is this is this is not this is like you know no one's getting docked points over this. We're not. Dale Murphy, gold ink autograph. There he is. Look how young he looks in this picture right here. Gold ink auto. Often considered, you know, one of the, as this says right here too, one of the nicest guys. Um, Buster only on the Baseball Tonight podcast will will often talk about how nice Dale Murphy is. I've heard interviews of, with him too. Like he's just. Extremely nice, apparently. So, and back-to-back MVP awards that I did not remember at all. That's two D's, two D's for Mark Glassman. Mark Glassman with the two D's. So, congrats to Mark. Thanks everybody for filling this one up. Yeah, double double D's. It's a family show, Jeremy Anderson. Double D's. Um, and not a Hall of Famer, right? Is he not a Hall of Famer? I don't think he's a Hall of he, He's got to get in Veterans Committee, right? Yeah, won the MVP in 82 and 83. Yeah, I mean, maybe the maybe the stats themselves are a little soft, but 265 lifetime, 2,111 hits, uh, 398 home runs, 1,200 runs batted in, 1,266 runs batted in. But maybe, I don't know, maybe some advanced stats may unlock something. But anyhow, thank you very much, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. That was from tedbugbreaks.com. Uh, we could do more of those next week when I'm back on Tuesday. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.